welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time welcome my name is faith i'm here feeling all royal welcome to april monthly reset 2024 where did march go i'm so excited to do this video at this time today is good friday as i record this happy easter weekend jesus is the reason for the season his crucifixion gave us a new life and let's celebrate remembering the price that Jesus paid on the cross. That aside, let's get into the monthly reset for the month of April. I'm excited to do this because March has been a better month for me compared to January and February and I've been able to do a lot in terms of my wellness and my fitness journey and I've documented my five week fat loss challenge that I'm on. This is the last week of the five weeks. I have two more videos to finish that series. Today we're going to go through how I plan my months, what I achieved from the month of March. We are going to look at reflection from the month. I have a notion template that I use every month to reset and see my progress, check on my goals, keep in tabs with the things I plan to do for my career development and my personal development to live a holistic, rounded life. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. What I accomplished for the month of March. March, I surpassed 750 subscribers. Yay! That's amazing. I think the last one I was at almost 700. And this one, we had 750 subscribers. Thank you guys to everyone who subscribes to my YouTube channel. I know behind every subscriber, there's a name, there's a face. Is a person who watches. I'm delighted to have you and I appreciate all of you for following my journey of my personal development and joining the Faith Lizzie's Corner. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. On this channel, we talk about Christ, we talk about personal development, lifestyle, how to become better versions of ourselves, and create an impact that we long to create in the world. Thank you so much to all of you who are subscribed. I'm turning this to be a speech. But I'll stop there for now. I also posted six long form YouTube videos. I looked at my fat loss challenge that I started. I also did episodes about prayer, how to pray, how to trust in God and it's been really a lovely month despite the fact that I wanted to produce more videos but six videos is what I could afford to release in the month of March. I had two podcast features with Live Quality Podcast. I'll leave a link in the description the first podcast we talked about what it means to work what work means to me and how we can design fulfilling work i'll leave a link in the description of this episode if you're into podcasting you love the episode because it's a bit long it's like 1 and 20 minutes long the last one we recorded it actually last night today is good friday as i record this episode and probably it will be out in the coming month so if you enjoy podcasting this will be a good podcast for you to watch and listen to because Clayton shares lots of nuggets when it comes to designing work that you love, when it comes to wisdom, when it comes to the intersection of our abilities with the world. So I'll leave a link in the description for you to check it out if you haven't done so. I also started my fat loss challenge. In fact, this is the fifth week of my fat loss challenge and I have lost 12 pounds. 12 pounds. I'm so excited to be on this fat loss journey. It's been out of my comfort zone because for January and February, I literally didn't move my body. And from the 19th of February to now, it was a challenge I decided to do to kickstart my fitness. And I'm glad that I decided to challenge myself to take part in the challenge. So if you want to join my challenges, usually they're for 30 days, but this one was unique to myself because I wanted to get back into the rhythm of things. And I'm glad that I'm back stronger and more focused on working on my fitness and wellness journey. So we finished the reflection. The next thing we're going to look at is what challenged me. I wrote a bit of overwhelm and loss of morale for Faith Liz's Corner. There have been so many instances where I've been debating about what I do for my Faith Liz's Corner. When I started my YouTube channel, I was basically focused on documenting my fitness journey because I needed something to kickstart my YouTube journey. And now that I've designed this YouTube journey, I've found that I want to infuse all the other interests of my life from faith and spirituality. I'm a born again Christian. I believe in Jesus. I know he's the center of my life. 
I also love personal development. I love habits and mindset. I love fitness and wellness. I also love sharing the lessons that I've learned on my journey of personal development. And many of the videos that I share when the fitness comes in, of course, they get the most views, but I don't want my channel to only be about fitness. My corner has more than fitness. So I've been trying to see how best to infuse everything in my videos. And truth be told, I lost some morale. But yesterday while I was journaling and also praying, I have some convictions that have been put on my heart as yet and I released them in due course, but I know God is doing something behind the scene that you may not see and there might be something coming soon on Faith Liz's Corner. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and keep your eyes peeled so that you don't miss when that something launches soon. So also for my coaching, I didn't get any new clients and that also created some bit of loss of morale because I do a lot when it comes to putting my services out there and I've not been able to meet my financial goal for the month of March, which is okay, but I still have to go back and evaluate why this is so and probably I come up with reasons as to why this is not working as I expected to work. For the self-care, I decided to do gratitude journaling. As soon as I wake up in the morning, I also late in the evening before I go to bed. And it's wonderful to reflect back on the days. Some days I would end up skipping previously and I would do it probably two days later. And in those days, I would miss out some of the things I needed to be grateful for. But ever since I've made it a non-negotiable in my life, I've seen that gratitude has really helped me. It's been more of self-care. It's helped me clarify my thoughts. It's helped me see what's good in my present life. It has also helped me appreciate the journey that I'm on, especially my fat loss journey, and also appreciate my children. Recently, I told my daughter, my office is upstairs, so I told my daughter, go and bring your diaper. I was just trying to test her. The diapers are downstairs in one of the bathrooms. So she went and brought the diaper and she brought it to me. I was so amazed that she could understand and even comprehend where to find them and bring them. And that was something I recorded in my journal because it was something new that she took the instruction I gave her and she did exactly what I wanted her to do. So gratitude has really helped me stay positive and enjoy life. The other thing I've done is habit tracking. I recently got onto Atoms. Atoms is an app by James Clear. If you haven't joined, I'll leave a link in the description. And I like it because it's simple, minimalistic, and straight to the point. You know James Clear, the guy of Atomic Habits. And that app has been lovely in the sense that I track two habits. I tracked my walking. I decided to walk every day in the morning and also walk in the evening, and also my gratitude and I've been able to see the streaks I've made in those aspects. Mostly was the journaling because I wanted to do my gratitude channeling every night and every morning. So it really worked out for me. Number three, self-care. I did intentional habits. I'm coming up with a video. Don't hold this against me, but I'm going to release a video about the habits I decided to intentionally implement in my life to make it better for the month of March and to reset my entire life. And it's been lovely. I will share more in that video when I release it, but it's lovely to see that the things I wrote down at the end of February, I did them in terms of habits and I've made so much progress in that regard. Okay, the last one, I also celebrated one of my best friends in Australia's birthday. It was so lovely. We had some cake, we had some good moments and it was great to see that she really appreciated the gesture I threw for her on her birthday. So the key lessons and take away from the month of March Prayer works. Yesterday I sat down and read down a prayer and by the end of the day, God had come through. So I believe prayer works. That will also be a testimony for a coming video. I'm not going to go in depth of that, but when I'm ready, I'll release the testimony. And I know that God works and he's really a good father who listens to our prayers and answers them. So if you have any prayer requests, please take them to God and you'll be sure to meet your requests. The other lesson I've learned from the month of March is spending time in the presence of God is worthwhile. There's never a minute that I spend reading my Bible, spend praying, spend prayer journaling, prayer walks, that God is not working. And every time I do that, I live refreshed, renewed, and very happy. The other lesson, number three, was a realization. Because every day I wake up, my YouTube channel grows. And at the moment when I was discouraged to release videos, this lesson made so much sense. And the lesson says, this is the smallest, 
my YouTube audience would be. My daughter is trying to come in. This is the smallest my YouTube audience would be. Every day I gain a subscriber, some days I gain two or three. And every time I'm getting discouraged, I should remember that this is the smallest my YouTube audience would be. Books I loved for the month of March. I loved, of course, my Bible, because that book is just the best instructions before leaving earth, as we used to call it in high school. Every day there's a new passage I read, every day there's a new revelation I get by reading the Word of God, so that one will never leave my timeline. Book two that I loved is Show Your Work by Austin Cleon. This book is a gem. If you haven't read it, please read it for yourself. I'm almost getting through it. I'm on page 119. That's the page I'm on and it's really great to see. I need to open for my daughter. <laughs> It's been hard for me to record this video because my kids keep coming but otherwise let's continue with the video so the book i've loved for the month of march was this one by austin cleon show your work it's really lovely it's an extremely beautiful book if you haven't read it please read it it doesn't apply to only people who do digital work but you can also use it in your career how to showcase your value what mindset to have when you're showcasing your value what exactly you need to do to showcase your value and one of the things that i loved so much is about the amateur when you embody the amateurism mindset is that you learn to share your work regardless of how it is one of the things he said that the process of creating anything is usually messy you'll have to create then test then iterate then create then test then iterate until you get your final product that's what we see even in business many times you try something and it won't work you go back to the drawing board then try something else and it doesn't work you go back to the drawing board until you come up with something that is successful and the key lesson i've gotten so far out of this book is that every time you share your work you are equipping someone else and also you're creating yourself a footprint that people can look up to he gives you very simple actionable steps that you can take to showcase your value like he says talk about your work at parties imagine you go to a party and someone asks you what do you do how do you answer that question what will you tell them so it's good for you to practice saying what you do and he says that when you're saying what you do do not try to complicate it by putting i am an expert guru at this just say i'm a writer if you're a writer if you're a youtuber just say you're a youtuber if you're a career strategist say you're a career strategist if you're a coach say you're a coach so do not complicate what you do and he also shows you exactly what you need to do in terms of crediting other people's work how everyone needs to have a website you need to have an email list you need to have a way that people can track you so I could go into this book in depth. Let me know if you want to hear a detailed summary of this book. But overall, I'm loving every page that I'm turning. There's so many beautiful nuggets that you can pick when you read this book. That's my reflection on the month of March. And now let's get into the goal setting. Goal setting for the month of April is that I want to pray every single day. Not just pray when I'm going to bed, but pray every single day in the morning and in the evening and spend the day with God. So I want to be able to go on prayer walks every day and keep praying every single day. Not only pray when I wake up or later in the evening, I want to grow so much closer to God. I feel closer to God, but I need to do this on a day-to-day -day basis. Wellness and fitness. I want to do a challenge where I'll walk 10 get steps for 30 days and I'll document this. So that's my goal for April. April is 30 days, so I want to walk every single day 10 K steps and I'll document my journey and share with you what I would have gotten out of it when I finish this challenge. My goal is to go to gym at least four times. I'll do two upper body workouts and two lower body workouts every week. Because I'll be walking every single day, I'll just do only four days in the gym. I'm also planning on doing an abs challenge. I'm that type of girl who doesn't train her abs. When I get to the mat to train my abs, I usually do only three minutes and I'm done. But I want to change this and be able to train my abs at least three times a week, either Monday, Wednesday and Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday, so that I can be able to see some definition in my abs. I know I live in Australia, we are not in summer anytime soon, but an abs challenge would be great for me to see that my waist is getting snatched. So I can't wait to share with you how this challenge will turn out. Career and business. I want to get more clients for my coaching business. And if you think that I have what it takes to coach you, please, there's always a link in the description. We can get on a call 
and see how I can help you. I recently shared that I lost my professional job so I'm getting back into looking for a job. I've done a couple of interviews and applied for a couple of jobs and hopefully this month of April a job comes through for me and I get back to doing my job as a biotechnologist. Let me know if you want to know the juicy details of what happened when it came to my job that I had last year and I'll be sure to share a video. But if you haven't caught the video that is trending on my careers page, I'll leave it in the description of this episode. You can catch it and learn from my lesson. That was just like a raw reaction when I finished applying for a job and while I was doing the interview, these guys came to me and were telling me they were giving me a sum of money that was below what I was getting like by 50% and I was like, wait a minute, how can this be so? It led me to create that video with very raw emotions and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to watch it and see exactly how that turned out. So we've looked at everything. The last thing that I always do in my monthly reset is to say a prayer for you. I recorded a prayer earlier on. I'm going to put it in here and hopefully it helps you. Have a good month. This is my wish for you this month of April. I pray that God meets you at your point of need. He supplies all your needs according to his riches and glory, that you walk in his favor, that doors will open for you, that he will bless you in the city and bless you out of the city. And if you want to receive Christ as your personal savior, there is a prayer in the description of this video every single month. I decided to do my monthly resets and include prayer because it's a very, very important tool in my life. I've seen prayer work for me in very many aspects of my life and I would want to pass on this wonderful tool to you. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's been all over the place because my kids are downstairs and they're a bit yelling and I need to get back to them. So thank you so much for watching and if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. There's power in prayer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for the breath in our lungs. Thank you for all that you've done for us. I bless you for this time. I bless you for this day. You are a great God. You are a marvelous King. You say, come unto me, all who are weary, and I'll give you rest. I come before you today, presenting anyone who is feeling weary, anyone who is sick, anyone who is disturbed, who is depressed, who is burdened by anxiety, fear, and all. May you cure them, Lord. May you meet them at their point of need, O oh God. Thank you for your grace that is sufficient for us, that in our weakness, you are God. I bless you, Father, for life. I bless you for your grace. I bless you for your provision. It's only in you that we can find rest, O oh God. And again, you say in the book of Isaiah, let us not be dismayed, let us not fear. You're with us, O oh Lord. In the book of Psalms, you say that you're close to the brokenhearted and you're close to the wounded, O oh God. You heal our diseases and take away our iniquities. You deliver us from the snares of the devil. In Psalm 91, you say that you protect us under the shadows of your wings, O oh Lord. I pray for your divine protection upon us. I pray for life, I pray for grace, I pray for healing, I pray for anointing, I pray for provision. I pray that everything we shall pray for today shall come to pass, O oh Lord. I present anyone who needs you at this point, O oh Lord. May you avail yourself to them. May you come out and show them that you are King, you are God. I bless you for this opportunity to share your word, to pray, to encourage one another, O oh God. Because the Bible tells us in the book of James that there will be trials of God, there will be tribulations. But let us encourage one another. Let us know you, O God. Let us come to you the way we are. And in you we have rest. First Peter 5 7 tells us to cast all our anxieties upon you because you care. And in, again in the book of Psalms, you tell us that cast all your anxieties upon me and I'll sustain you. You will sustain us, O God. You are our sustainer, God. You are our healer, our Jehovah Rapha. You are our banner, our Jehovah Nisi. 
you are provider Jehovah Jireh in you we lack nothing O Lord in you we have everything Lord in you we move and have our being King of Kings I pray for grace I pray for mercy I pray for kindness I pray for love I pray for wisdom I pray for knowledge I pray that you bless us with the gifts of the Holy Spirit O Lord that everything we shall touch shall be blessed. That you bless us in the city and bless us in the country, Lord. That you keep us away from harm's way, Lord. That you go before us and make the path straight, O Lord. That you break the shackles that hold us, O King of Kings. That your mercy and your greatness shall prevail, O King of Kings. I bless you for who you are. You're the God of all gods. You're the healer of our hearts, O Lord. You're the one who mends our broken hearts, O Lord. You're the one who encourages us, O Lord. There's no one else like you, King of Kings. You are great, you're wonderful, you're marvelous, you're excellent, King of Kings. May your name be praised, may your name be glorified. Girl, you were there for me, you held me down, lifted me up when no one was around. But I am thankful for the things that you do, you help me through.